Hi guys, how are you? We hope you are in a good condition. Today we are going to discuss Science Stage 7 Paper 2 2022. It's a request from our subscriber as they are preparing for their test. And let's get started. There will be in quizzes form. You'll be given time interval to find your own answer. And after that, you may match with the reveal answer. So let's get started. So this paper is 45 minutes for stage 7 and total mark is 50 and let's get started from number 1 alright well, question 1 says look at the diagram of different cells it's A, B, C, D, E, F uh, there's question A, B and C by the way, if you follow this video till the very end, we'll display the full screen of only the question paper at the very end, and uh, you may take a screenshot and save in your laptop or print it out while doing this quiz. Now let's get started. Um, question A, four of the cells are animals. Write down the letters of the four animal cells. You got 10 seconds from now, all right? 10, 9, 8, 7. Four, three, two, one, zero. Okay, let's check out the answer for 1A. Well, 1A is B, D, E, and F. So let's see what type of cell is B, D, E, and F. B is a nerve cell. You can see from the long network here. It only can be found in animal cells. D is ciliated epithelial cells. These cells are found in the tubes of leading to the lungs. The hairs move dirt out of the lungs and help to move eggs along the oviduct. So this is, can be found only in tubes leading to the lungs and in the oviduct. That is only can be found in animal cells. While this is the nerve cells that we talked about. The, now this is the red blood cell which has a this shape. It is adapted to carry oxygen and carbon dioxide away from them. And now the last is muscle cells. These muscle cells can change their length to help us move. That's all. So for animal cells. And this juice is for plant cells. Salicite is containing uh, cell contains chloroplast to help plant make food by photosynthesis. This the green thing is chloroplast. This is root hair cells that give the this cells near surface area to take in water from the soil. So that's how we got our answer. Done. These two are plant cells A and C. Now question B, write down two reasons why these cells are animal cells and not plant cells. 10 seconds from now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, or we must pause this video if you have not finished. Let's open up the answer now. So these cells uh, don't have a large vacuole. That's why these four are animal cells and these cells don't have cell wall. Right? That's our answer for B. Now let's move on to C. Microorganisms are made of cells. How many cells does a typical microorganism contain? 10 seconds from now. 10, 9, 8, 7. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Alright, let's check out the answer, guys. So, typically, microorganisms contain only one cell. That's it. Next, move on to question two. Right, question two says steel is an alloy. It contains carbon and iron. A. Complete the sentence by ticking the correct box. Steel is A. Is it an atom, element, compound, or mixture? We got ten seconds from now. You have not finished you may pause this video let's open up the answer so steel is an alloy so it is a mixture it's not an atom element or compound is a mixture of carbon and iron next 
look at the particle model for steel and iron here. This is steel and iron. Explain using the particle model why steel is harder than iron. 10 seconds from now. All right, time's up. Let's check out the answer. If you're not finished, you may pause this video, guys. So a carbon atom inserted into iron are much smaller in size, so it's more difficult for atoms to slide. So that's explain why steel is harder than iron. Next, move to next question. Guys, now we're in question number three. Pierre and Priya investigates our resistance. They have uh, a ball and a feather. Pierre drops the ball and the feather from the same height. Pierre, Pierre times how long it takes for the ball and the feather to reach the ground. They repeat their experiment three times. Here are their results here. Ball uh, experiment one, two, three is about two point something and the average is 2.5 for feather is about 25, 23, 24 per second third experiment and average is 24. Question A explains their results. Use ideas about air system. You got uh, 10 seconds from now. Time up, uh, you have not finished, you may pause this video, let's check out the answer. So to explain the results using idea of a resistance, the average time taken for the feather to reach the ground is much longer than the average time taken for the ball, which is only 22.5. 24 is longer than 25, so a feather has greater air resistance than ball. That's how we explain about air resistance. Now we move to question B. Pierre makes this prediction. If we repeat the investigation in a vacuum, the ball and the feather will both take the same time to reach ground. Take to show if Pierre is correct, yes or no, and explain your answer. You got 10 seconds from now. Alright, time up. Uh, if you have not finished, you may pause this video. Next. Let's check out the answer. So a, there is the answer is yes. Both and take the same time to reach the ground. Explain there is no air resistance in vacuum. The only force acting on them is gravitational force. Let's move on. Now question B four says look at the diagram. It shows the position of the sun, the earth, and the tides. A complete the diagram by showing the position of the moon. Where do we put this is the orbit of the moon, so we have to put it somewhere in one, two, three, or four position to show how it caused the high tide in this side and low tide in the other side. So 10 seconds from now. Alright, let's check out the answer guys. So this is the position of the moon. When the moon is here, then it causes the low tide as the moon uh, exert gravity pull towards the, the earth and it causes high tide on this side and that side and low tide to the other side. Next, 4B. 4B says, look at the diagram. It shows the earth with extremely high tide. And this is orbit of the moon again. Complete the diagram to show the position of the sun and the position of the moon when there's an extremely high tide. Explain your answer. All right, you get 10 seconds from now. All right, time up for this one. If you're not finished, may pause this video. Let's check out the answer. So the answer says that they, this is the diagram for the moon and this is the sun and it has to be aligned in one direct line to cause extremely high tide. When the sun, moon, and earth are lined up, the sun's tidal force combined with the moon's tidal force, which uh, which causes an extremely high tide. The extremely high tide we call as the spring tide. So spring tides have a larger than normal tidal range, higher range, higher high tides, and lower low tides. So that's when happen when the sun, the moon, and earth are lined up. We also have neap tides where the sun, the moon, and the earth are in 90 degree. So neap tide have smaller than normal tidal range, lower high tides and higher low tides. So this is uh, when it's only high tides, not extremely, but lower high tides. 
this is a uh, a question so moon will be in this position or this position as long as form 90 degree for extremely high tide moon should be in here this position or you can draw in here next now in question 5, Chen uses his toy train to model the flow of electricity in an electrical circuit. Chen pushes the train around the track. Question 8, draw a line to match the part of the model that led to the correct part of the electrical circuit. Part of model is the train, track, the track and is Chen himself with the hand moving the train toy. Now electrical circuit that is represented is it wire, battery and electron. So we have to mix and match here. Uh, you got 10 seconds from now. Right, time up. Let's open the answer guys. So train represent the electrons and track represent the wire. And Chan represent the battery, battery that moved the toy train. Question B, part one, write down one string of Chan's model. 10 seconds from now. Right, right, Tom. Up. If you have not finished, you may pause this video. Let's check out the answer. So uh, it helps to show the flow electron which cannot be seen. That is the strength of Chan's model. Next, B part two. Write down two limitation of Chen's model. We got uh, another ten second from now. Right. Okay. Time up. Uh, let's check out the answer. If not finished, we may pause this video. So the answer is Chen may not always push the train at the same speed. The limitation of Chen's model. While cells always uh, push the electron at the same speed. Now there's no model for ammeter to measure current in here. It's too simple. All right, next move uh, question six. Question six says Oliver investigates the current in an electrical circuit. Ammeter A1 measure the current as four amps. Right on the measurement on ammeter A2 here. Got 10 seconds. Okay, time up guys, so let's check out the answer. So it's 4, the same because A1 and A2 is in the same loop, it's in series. Next, question 6b. 6b says, Oliver adds another lamp to the electrical circuit. Describe what happened to the measurement on ammeter 1. So from 2 bulb, now it becomes 3 bulb here. So what happened to the measurement on A1 and explanation? 10 seconds from now. Okay, so let's check out the answer. If you have not finished, may pause this video. So the answer is measurement on A1 will decrease as when Oliver adds another lamp to the electrical circuit, the total resistance increases. So the current at A1 decreases. That will be the reason next. Okay, question seven. Look at the three food chains for a desert. Cactus, rat, hawk, microorganism. Cactus, grasshopper, lizard, hawk, microorganisms. Cactus, rat, tarantula, snake, and microorganisms. Use the food chains to make a food web. The space is provided in here. So, you're given uh, a lot of space for writing the food chain. You got 10 seconds from now. Right, guys. Okay. Okay, let's uh, check out the answer. Time up. You have not finished. You may pause this video. What is our answer? So, uh, cactus here. Go to grasshopper. This one. Lizard, hawk, and microorganism. Second one is cactus, red, hawk, microorganism. Cactus, red, hawk, microorganism. Now, the last one is cactus, grasshopper, lizard, hawk, microorganism. Cactus, grasshopper, lizard, hawk, and microorganism. So, we don't write the same animal twice, but only one. So this make like a link in a wood web. Next, 7B. 7B says there's a disease which kills all the grasshopper in the desert. Predict what happens to the number of lizards in the desert. 
Uh, so this is the food web diagram. And if there's a disease which kills all the grasshopper in this part, predict what happened to the number of lizards. Uh, you got 10 seconds from now. All right, so time's up. Uh, let's open up the answer, guys. So uh, it will decrease. Uh, lizard will decrease as lizard will not have any food to eat. Next, let's move on. Now, question 7C says, part 1, what is the role of the microorganism in a food web? Uh, write down your answer, 10 seconds. Okay, time up guys, so let's check out the answer. So to break down dead organism to release uh, why microorganisms are important in a food web, in a, in a habitat. Why microorganisms are important in a habitat to release nutrient bags into the ground. Next, we move on to question 8. Question 8 says, Jamila mixes two colorless solution. A part 1 complete B sentences. Do two solutions react to make a white solid? Solid made does not dissolve in water because it is. The solid is called A. Uh, we're given 10 seconds to fill 8A part 1. All right, guys, so it's time up. So let's open up the answer for 8A part 1. So A part 1 is uh, the solid made does not dissolve in water because it is insoluble. The solid is called a precipitate. Next, a 8A part 2. Now, 8A part 2, a reaction takes place when Jamila mixes the two solutions. Describe one piece of evidence that shows a reaction takes place. So, you have to see information from up there. You got 10 seconds from now. Okay, time up guys, let's check out the answer. So evidence that uh, a precipitate is formed. You can see that two solutions make a white solid. Or you may say that there's a change in color from colorless into a white solid, uh, white solution. Next. Question B says, what is the name of this type of chemical reaction? Got 10 seconds from now. Okay, let's check out the answer, guys. If you have not missed, may pause this video. So it's a precipitation reaction as it's produced a, a precipitate or white solid. Next, All right, we're in question nine. Let's slowly add sodium hydroxide solution into dilute hydrochloric acid in a beaker. As she adds the sodium hydroxide solution to the acid, less it measures the pH of the mixture in the beaker. Question eight: Sodium hydroxide solution is in the alkali. Write down the name of the type of Reaction that happens when sodium hydroxide solution reacts with dilute hydrochloric acid. Look at the graph of her result here. This is a volume of hydrogen, volume of sodium hydroxide solution added in cubic centimeter, and um, this is the pH that there's increase in pH I'm up to here. Now, write down the name of the name of the type of reaction. Uh, you got uh, ten seconds from now. Okay, 10 seconds from now. Okay, uh, let's check out the answer. Check out the answer, guys. Uh, if you have not finished, you may pause this video. So the name of reaction is neutralization. Next, let's move on to 9B. 9B says... Uh,
Okay, technical mistake, guys. So, 9B says, explain why the pH increases as the sodium hydroxide solution is added to the dilute hydrochloric acid. Mm, so, why the pH increases in here? You got 10 seconds from now. You have not seen the answer revealed just now. Okay guys, let's check out the answer. This is uh, revealed by mistake, so this is the same answer. The solution is being neutralized. So why the pH increases as sodium hydroxide is added to the dilute hydrochloric acid. Next, uh, 9C. What is the volume of sodium hydroxide solution added when the pH is 7? You can see from here is 7. So what is the volume? 10 seconds from now. Okay guys, let's check out the answers. So it's a 25 cm cubic, cent cubic centimeter, so when 7 cm, just make a line with ruler, then it go down here, down, then it will cut exactly in the middle between 20 and 30, so it must be 25. Next, let's move on to C. Blessy wants to know if the results are reliable. Let's go what Blessy does to get reliable result explain how she will know if the result are reliable description and explanation you got uh, two marks problem here so you got 10 seconds okay guys time up let's talk, uh, check out the answer so 9 says uh, she needs to repeat the experiments uh, expansion so she can compare if the results are similar. Right, let's move on to question 10. Question 10 says the mountain zebra belongs to the species. Echoes zebra. Question 8 define the term species in uh, 10 seconds from now. Okay, uh, time up. Uh, you have not finished my pause this video. Let's check out the answer, guys. So, species is same kind of organism that can reproduce to make fertile offspring. That would be the definition for species. If different species, the offspring will not be fertile. I mean, the offspring will not be able to have another offspring. So, it has to be the same kind that can produce fertile offspring. That is the key word for this. Next, growth is one characteristic of living organism. Write down three other characteristics of the living organism shown in the pictures here. One, two, three, ten seconds. Okay, guys, time up. Let's check out the answer. If you have not finished, you may pause this video. So, this is the reveal answer reproduction. We can see that. The zebra have young zebra, I mean they can reproduce nutrition, the one zebra is eating the grass, movement, the zebra is moving to another place. So that will be the answer. Next we move on to question C. Question C says a virus make the mountain zebra become ill. Mia thinks a virus is a living organism. Take to show if Mia is correct, yes or no. Explain your answer. Ten seconds. Okay guys, time up. Let's check out the answer. If you're not finished, you may pause this video if you still need time to think. Okay, here's our reveal answer. So, Mia uh, thinks virus is living organism. It's not. Explain your answer. Viruses do not show all seven characteristics. What are the seven characteristics? So, the seven characteristics is uh, Mrs. Grant M for movement, R for respiration, S for sensitivity, Grant G for growth, R for another R for reproduction, E for excretion, and, uh, and for nutrition, there are seven characteristics of living organism. While virus do not show the seven characteristics, because virus uh, is not living uh, outside the 
hose. Next. All right, question 11 says uh, the combustion of gasoline in a car engine makes harmful gases. Catalytic converters are fitted to cars to lower the mass of these harmful gases released into the atmosphere. Look at the graph mass of harmful gases released in gram. No catalytic converter is very high. Two way catalytic converter is medium. Three way catalytic converter is shortest. Now, a three way catalytic converter is more effective than a two way catalytic converter at lowering the mass of harmful gases released. Calculate how much more effective the three way catalytic converter is compared to the two way catalytic converter. Show your working. So you have to work with numbers to show it. Uh, you got 10 seconds from now. Okay guys, so time up, so let's open up the answer. If you're not finished, you may pause this video. So a two-way catalytic converter, we see that it converts into, this is a, it's nine gram, between eight and 10 is nine gram. Harmful gases released now three ways is, from here is go to, between two and three, two and four is three, so three gram is harmful now. Nine divided by three is three, so three-way catalytic converter is three times more effective. That's how our conclusion is. Next, All right? Question twelve. Hassan stands in the entrance of a tunnel and shouts his name into the tunnel. A few seconds later, he hears his name again. Explain why you got ten seconds from now. All right. Okay guys, time up, sorry for the intermezzo. I hope you will not get a uh, shock. Okay, if you have not finished, may pause this video. Uh, let's open up the answer. So there's an echo, the sound wave is reflected back. So he hears his name again after a few seconds. Let's move on to question 13. Well, question 13 says, Sophie and Pierre use boxes and pieces of clothes to model how fault mountains are formed. Look at the diagram here. Box and pieces of clothes, um, Sophia and Pierre. Question A, Sabi and Pierre push the boxes towards each other. Use your scientific knowledge to predict what happens to the pieces of clothes. 10 seconds from now. Okay guys, time out. Let's uh, check out the answer. So the pieces of clothes will uh, fold upward. So that will be the answer. Next. Now we end question B, part one. What do the boxes in the model represent? Uh, you got 10 seconds from now. Denied. Okay, guys, time out. Let's check out the answer. So uh, the box represents tectonic plates. Next, part two, what do the pieces of clothes in the model represent? So let's get 10 seconds from now. Okay guys, time out. Let's open up the answer guys. So the piece of clothes represent layers of rocks. This all represent our earth crust and tectonic plates. Next, question C suggests one way Sophia and Pierre could improve their models. Right, a you will be given a 10 seconds from now, okay? Okay guys, time out. Let's check out the answer. So uh, they can add more layers of clothes to represent uh, the layers of rocks. 
All right, next. Okay, question 14 says, read the hypothesis about how planets are formed about 4,000 million, 4, million years ago, the solar system was just gas and dust. Small bits of gas and dust began to group together to form asteroids. Gravity pulls some of the asteroids together to form planets. Many asteroids are still found between Mars and Jupiter. Question A. Right on one reason why some scientists think this hypothesis may not be correct. All right, you got 10 seconds from now. Okay guys, time out. Let's check out the answer. So one reason why some scientists think this hypothesis may not be correct is there's no proof that the hypothesis is correct. Because nobody has lived 4,500 million years ago. Next, we move on to question 14b. 14b says, read on two reasons why some scientists think that this hypothesis is correct. Uh, 10 seconds from now. <laughs> Okay, guys, time up. Uh, let's check out the answer. So, a first reason is there are new planets being formed around the, around the other stars. So, that's the reason why some scientists think that the hypothesis is correct that gravity pulls some of the asteroids to form planets. Because there are new planets being formed around the stars, and asteroids can be sampled to check if they are made of from the same materials as planets. Right, let's move on. Now it's a blank page. Uh, so guys, so is that is the last question for our discussion today. Uh, now we will scroll over from the top. Only the question part, so you may take a screenshot and save in laptop or print out for study. Let's start it. Here we go, this is the first page. Science. Paper 2, 2022. Next. This is second page, question 1A. This is question 1B and 1c one a b c this is the picture the diagram again this is the question a b c next this is the question 2 a and then this is question 2 b next is question 3 and it's a table and this is the 3a next this is question 4 this is question 4 next this is question or this is a 3b now this is question 4 a or b you may pause this video to take a screenshot if you like to and this is 4b the whole page Four B. This is upper part of four B. This is lower part of four B. Right next, uh, this is a uh, question five. A and B. Five A. Uh, next, this is question 6, A and 6, B. 6, A and 6, B. Question 6. Next is question 7, A, and this is question 7, B. And we go to 7, C, and this is question 8, A and 8, B. Let's move on to question 9. So question of 9A and this is 9B, C and D, B, C and D and right, I can take a nice screenshot in here. Next, uh, this is question 10A, 10B and 10C. Ten A B C. Here we go. Ten A B C. Next, this is question eleven. You can pause and take screenshot. Now this is magnification. Zoom in. Eleven. And here. Next, this is question twelve. This is question thirteen A. 
and 13 B and C. Next, this is question 14 A and B. That's the end of this paper. So today we have discussed science progression test, paper 2022, paper 2, paper code S slash S7 slash 02, question with answer 4, Cambridge Law Secondary Stage 7. Please do check link at the description and you may see all other useful links that covering past paper for mathematics, English, science from stage 3 up to three, stage 12. So ring the bell so you will not miss any of our latest release as we keep updating our resources every week and subscribe because it's free to Susan United YouTube channel. Click the subscribe button and like and share to anybody who might need this because who knows it might be helpful to them and it also will motivate us to produce more video like this. So today's discussion is conducted by Study with Tuition Online. We cater for all the subjects and the syllabus. Please do email us if you have any unsolved fast paper or if you are interested to join with our online tuition as we cater for tutorial for us. This subject for students all over the world online uh, platform. So email us if you're interested to inquire more about that. Now check link in the description. Click this button under the right button corner of this video so you may see all other useful links. Or you can go to our home page of this YouTube and you can check the playlist there. All right, bye bye and see you in the next video. If you have any comments, requests, question, idea, please feel free to write in the comment section. Bye bye and see you in the next video. We hope today's discussion will be helpful to you and God bless you. Mm -hmm.